What do you find that your students think these days about some of the people that you write about? Let's start with Elijah Muhammad. Do they know anything about him when they come to school? Very little about him. Uh, everyone knows something about his disciple, Malcolm X. Uh, Louis Farrakhan is often in the newspaper on the television, so they know about him. Muhammad Ali, the boxer, who was also uh, a follower of Elijah Muhammad. People know him through his boxing career. Very little about Elijah Muhammad. Um, Surprising given the, the longevity of his life, how long he lives, and his kind of sustained impact on uh, the African American community, but very little do they know. What is his sustained impact? I think his significance primarily is his impact on the racial consciousness of African Americans. That is, he made uh, blackness, he made the African uh, heritage of African Americans respectable, even to African Americans uh, during this century. That's his primary impact. Uh, also, he pushes uh, economics, or uh, the economic initiative of his organization uh, is very important as far as its significance is concerned. Uh, the real magic of the Nation of Islam was to mobilize largely lower class people to pull their resources together to go in business. That was the real, uh, uh, the real phenomenon behind the Nation of Islam. People that follow the Nation of Islam today, what is it about Islam that is attractive? Few things uh, that uh, were, are attractive and were attractive during Elijah Muhammad's day. I think uh, Elijah's biggest legacy, his biggest significance is that he makes blackness respectable among African Americans. He's kind of, he kind of sells black people to themselves. Uh, he rejuvenates uh, people's sense of pride and self-esteem and, and uh, their, uh, their pride in their racial and cultural heritage. Also, the economic initiative of the Nation of Islam, that is, again, largely lower class people pulling their resources together to buy a major newspaper, printing press, uh, farmland, grocery stores, jets, a bank, etc. Uh, again, creating an economic model of self-help uh, among people who had never owned or never contributed to uh, the purchase of a grocery store or the purchase of a jet, or uh, etc. Uh, also, I think the significance uh, uh, is a moral significance, although there are contradictions in his life as far as his, his own behavior is concerned. Uh, the message, the moral message of the Nation of Islam, uh, don't beat your wife, don't smoke, don't drink, don't uh, eat pork, don't do drugs, uh, clean up your neighborhoods, uh, hold a steady job, don't get on welfare. I think all of that moral message was appealing to people who had been prostitutes or who had been drug addicts or who had uh, been on the margins of society who had never lived within boundaries, moral boundaries. The Nation of Islam creates structure for those individuals. Uh, and finally, I think he's significant uh, in the appeal of the Nation of Islam has to do uh, with it has introduced African Americans to an alternative religious vision outside of Christianity. Uh, if Elijah Muhammad had never been, if he had never existed, I don't think that Islam would be the kind of force it is in some American uh, cities and urban areas as it is today. So uh, making people more aware of the Eastern faith of Islam, although Elijah Muhammad teaches a very peculiar kind of Islam, I, I think it's part of his significance. 